。哎，有 one go lunch 了啊？ Shit, but we order already. 哇，老有要打包 ready 啊？哇，要一定。Cannot see man, Nando's 啦。哎， Nando's 啊？哎，到 Nando's 你搞 chicken wing 搞 rice bowl one。哎呀， you don't know this is new one, new one 哦。I want, I want, I want, I want, I want. Okay, okay. I go back, I go back. I want, I want, I want. Welcome to another episode of Evil Vlogs, and today we will try everything at Nando's. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hi, welcome Nando's. Hello. Hello. Can I have one of everything? Okay, I ask you, ah, you know Nando so popular, right? But which country did it originate from? This one, no need to say. Ah, this one confirm is from the India. You see, ah, you see this one, you really give you the India cuisine feel, ma. Actually, you know, ah, Bolin, a lot of people say the same thing as you, you know. A lot of people are wrong. Ah, it's not even in the same continent. It's from the African continent. Africa, oh, specifically South Africa. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Wow. So all this time I've been eating South African cuisine, but I don't know. Correct, 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 correct. Okay, no wonder I was thinking, hey, wow, got Indian cuisine, got French fries, ah. No, we don't have me. Don't have. So I'm a bit confused. I'm a bit confused. French fries can come with anything. Yeah, French fries everywhere also have what. Actually, one other thing about Nando's food, right, is that they're all quite affordable. All around fifteen dollars net. No GST, no service charge. Even if they bring their food to you, also no service charge. Yeah. Table service. Table service. Ah, okay. And you know what's the best part about Nando? This one, this one, this one, this one. Yeah. The very, very nice. The most very, very nice sauce. The very nice sauce, correct. I really, really love two things. First, I love spicy stuff. Whoa. And I love garlic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Garlic and spicy stuff. So ah, this one extra hot is definitely my go-to. It got the garlic one also. All this smell is incredibly distracting. Shall we go into it? Okay, first one. We're gonna start with the starters, and this is the cheesy garlic pita. Wow. So because Chovit 18 plus 1, I will serve you all with the serving spoon. Yes, yes. Can you all guess what the ingredients is in this uh, garlic flour? Mm. Very, very correct. Good job. I just want to have a look inside. What you see inside? Uh. Mm, mm. Wow, it's solid one. Eh. Mm. Wow. This is really what garlic bread wish to achieve but will never get. It's soft enough to combo with the garlic sauce in yeah. between. Uh. Wow, the texture is super good. I think the cheese is a fantastic touch. Mm. It gives it that nice salty flavor, right? Mm. On top of the aromatics that come from the garlic. Mm. Okay, so this one is the portobello mushroom bowl in mild, portobello. mild setting. So I will add my garlic peri peri. I right, mine is the extra hot one. Ah. I want to try the wow herb. Wow. South Africans do it different. Ah. Mm. No, and also the onions, right? Add a very nice sweetness to the, yeah. Yeah, to the mushroom. Okay, wow. this Next one, one we have. Chicken livers and Portuguese bowl in mild setting. I'm assuming the Portuguese bowl is not the bowl. Then it's what? Or is it the bread? Roll. Roll, Roll la, not bowl, la. Oh, manto. Oh, the liver is oh. definitely creamy. There's this um fried chicken aftertaste. Fried chicken aftertaste. I think because this one on the grill, penga penga already. Oh. If you eat the liver just by itself, yeah, yeah. Uh, it still has the, the distinct liver taste. But because of how creamy it is and how fluffy the bread is, mm -hmm. uh, Wow, actually this combo is really good. good. Yeah. Okay, so now we will go on to the next dish, which is hummus. And yes. peri peri the drizzle. And then drizzle. we got more pita, we got more pita. Yes. You have to shake it like you mean it. Shake, 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 shake. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow. wow. This is very, very high weight. Open the stomach. Appetizing. Appetizing. Wow. It's, like, it's like you can have hummus and you can have like pita bread outside anywhere, mm. right? But it's like the sauce is the one that binds everything together all with right. the chili. All right. yeah. With the kick from the sourness and all. Yeah, all right. Okay, next dish in front of me, sweet potato chips with peri nays. Peri nays is the peri peri sauce plus mayonnaise, right? Ah, ah. Peri nays. See peri nays. I just want to say the combination of the peri peri sauce and the mayonnaise, ah. Ah. And with this sweet potato Ooh. fries, ah, this is gonna make me very fat. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, boys, now we're going one level up already. Okay, we have the six winglets and drumlets on wow. this hot setting. Hot setting, ah. Hey, but I, it's really good, eh? I feel the hot setting just nice and super juicy. So even though they barbecue, barbecue a bit charred, ah, but then inside, ah, just the more you eat, the more flavor you get, and then the mm. more intense that hot will get also. Yeah. Then you like wow. Okay, so now ah, we move on to the mains. It's what they do best, which is yes. chicken, ah, huh? But this one we talk about this one first. 
What's this? Why uh, like why talk about this first? So you think about Nando's, right? Actually, they got uh, limited edition, uh. seasonal. Limited oh, edition things. Wow. Uh, wow. Actually, actually, they got right here. What setting? What setting? Limited edition, Sweet limited sauce. edition setting. Wow. <laughs> By the time this video come out, uh, you'll be able to enjoy this. Mm. So it's super. Juicy. It says sweet soy, huh? Really is sweet, yeah. Mm. If there is ever a combination of like smoked teriyaki sauce, right? This will be. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. yeah. Mm. This one, right, has been charred to perfection. Mm. So the sweet soy, right, kind of cuts that, 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 that wok here. Like I keep saying, uh, the barbecue wok here. Kind of the cuts char, that la, the char, la. But in a good way. And like the thing about it is that we mentioned limited edition, uh, we're not lying to you, okay? So like, really once in a while, then they will have these new seasonal flavors. So there's always something new to look forward to uh, if you're feeling particularly novel uh, when you come to Nandos. Mm. So this is actually their signature rice. Basically, right, you just think of it as like a combination uh, of uh, the flavor. Uh, huh? oh. Like nasi lama and chicken rice. Uh. Got that oh. coconut oh, yeah, smell yeah, 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 and the yeah. chicken smell. How's it? How's the corn? Very sweet. Very sweet. Slightly yeah. soft. Because I think I think they really go and put on the grill. Uh -huh. Yeah. Alright, now we move to the whole chicken. Right? This is uh, what flavor? This is the mild flavor. Mild flavor. Uh. You know I come Nandos, right? And then when I, when I eat Actually, the... Can I get another knife? You know, you know whenever I come to Nando's? Every time I come to Nando's, I will feel that. This scene, right? You want to eat or you want to eat? Uh, this scene, right? Every time you come to Nando's, yeah. Uh, this scene very reminiscent of those zombie apocalypse. Right? Ah, yeah. I really like the sauce. Yeah. Do you know how they always say the skin of the chicken is always one of the mm. best? Mm. Ah, ah, ah. Pair along with that mild flavor sauce. Yeah. Like, Why wow, has this slight thing? Tingling the sour feel. Uh -huh. Tingling. Uh. Plus, it's oily enough mm. and juicy. When I first bite it, the whole hamstring just come out. Eh. Wow. Hamstring come out. Uh. Hamstring. Wow. Yeah. Wow. This is really chicken done right. Let's move on to the next dish, wow. which is the one quarter chicken. Uh. Except this one is in the, the, the hot flavor. We'll be going into the side dishes a little bit more than the okay. chicken because, of course, you will hear the, about the chicken many, many times. Uh. I am a big fan. Oh, really? Same, yeah. man. I love coleslaw. I love coleslaw. Oh my god, it's my favorite vegetable. I dish. love coleslaw. No, and the thing about it, right, is that like you order you order Nando's, right? You come with two dishes, two side dishes. Mm. Right? You will come and expect when you eat uh, Western food, yeah. Oh, but then I say, if you eat your chicken, I don't think we get too spicy for mm. food. They have bottomless drink menu. Oh here. yeah, yeah. Right. Bottomless means free flow if y'all don't get it. Mm. And y'all can change your drinks also. Mm. So if you order coke, you want to feel like iced lemon tea, yeah, uh, also ah. can. See ya. Uh, Bang. We feel straight away. <laughs> Wait Thank guys, you, can I just tell you about the fries? It's damn good. They have this thing called the Paris Sprinkle, right? For the lack of a better word, it's like a dry rub uh, for the fries. If you are a sucker for convenience like me, there's the bone-in option, right? Bone-in? But also got the bone-out portion. Bone-out means, option means uh, the bone bone-out. Boneless. That means, boneless, uh, that means uh, Nando's help you take away the bone. This is this the is, boneless, boneless thai. Chicken wow. thai. This is what flavor? This one? Dry Extra hot. hot. Oh. And you see, this is a good time uh, to have the bottomless drinks. Okay, personally, uh, I like with both. I feel like, wah, I might, wah, you know. It looks used mm. to a primal side of the brain. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put it that way. <laughs> this is delicious. It is delicious. Uh, something can be said about the extra hot sauce. Mm -hmm. You can definitely taste a stronger taste uh, of the chili. Okay, you know what? Uh, the best thing about it, right, is yes. that when you order your Nando's mean, right, always mm. come with one or two. Mm. Side dishes. So just wow. now we talk about the corn, right? Yes. So there's wedges. Ah, also with the with the fairy sprinkle. Sprinkle. And also ah, uh, for salad, got another kind of uh, vegetable dish. You think about it. It's also a salad. You grill this one, come this one. Correct. But different ingredient. Uh. Different ingredient. Of course, there is the spice rice. Mm. Wow. Let's continue with the bone out uh, options. Wow. wow. The flavor of this huh, is actually lemon and herb. I believe this is the chicken in it. Coming straight from the extra hot chicken, uh, 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 uh. I think this one is uh is a very subtle flavored kind of a chicken. You know, it's not too punchy. It has this very yeah, yeah. subtle herb taste. The lemon, very subtle, sourish outer skin. And I think this is very good because if you want more flavor, you can always add mm, with yeah. a variety of the berry berry sauce. Mm, yeah. I think the one thing that stays consistent throughout like all the kinds of flavors that we have, right? Is that this is the tang. Mm. Yes, right, the yes. initial thing that you have, right, is always there. So the heat, regardless, right, you can always add like what is it. Yeah. But it's the tang uh, that you always look out for. Next is my oh. favorite uh chicken butt. Tender man. Mm. Chicken butt. Tender is the most convenient. It's chicken butt. Heart. Heart. Wow. You know what? You want to tender? Tender man. Don't know eh. Tender is a tender is near the heart because tender loving oh. care. Sorry, yeah, this one must stay away and have this rice together with. This is the juiciest part I've had so far. Mm. And I think because it's like a, a bit of a thinner slice of chicken, right? When you talk about the lemon and herb, this one the flavor way stronger. Mm. The, my favorite favorite dish by far that is not chicken, uh, is this one. 
because the combination of the spiced rice and mm. the charred grill veg, right? Yeah. I had this one huge piece of carrot mm. along with a, a mouthful of rice. Huh? It's wet enough mm. and then it has this veg fragrant yeah. enough. It's very refreshing in terms of um, texture, in terms of yeah. flavour. It sets a very good contrast with all the meaty stuff that I've right. tried. Right. Okay, so now right, we move on uh, to this side dish. This side dish that has uh, two parts. So this is uh, garlic bread and this is uh, soup. Apple what soup. soup is this? So this is peri peri soup. Peri peri soup. Chicken. With chicken with mushroom, 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 and with the other thing secret. Cannot say other thing secret that we cannot say. Very, very secret. Uh, this is a very, very good appetizer actually. Mm. Wow, this one is. You imagine rainy weather, then uh. this is the first thing we eat. Mm. Warm bread, mm. warm soup, then the chicken, and then the peri peri seasoning inside there. Mm. Oh my lord. Okay, we try everything here. Uh. Most mm. of it, right, is from the classic menu. People classic come here, they think Nando's. Nando's they think this, but actually, uh, there's still more things, you know. Huh? Uh, from the advanced menu. Oh, this one cannot more, la, you know. Can, can, can. This can, one, la, can, la, can, la. let's go it, la. let's do it. La. Let's go to the, wow. go to the many more menu. Many, many more. Okay, so all right, you all wow. know that uh, Nando's, uh, you all think just chicken, correct? La? Yes, right, correct. But actually, there's more. So this one in front of us right, right now, we're going to talk about the bowls first. Yeah. Peri, wow. peri bowls. Oui. This one is new, right? They don't have bowl one all last time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is new. And then you know what the best part about it uh, is mm. that every single bowl is fully customizable. All the all the options here uh, is all the options available to you. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So you can pick like your, your main, right? You want it to be the boneless chicken kind. Uh, uh. Or there is also a meatless op uh, option, which is tempeh. Wow. Ui. All these bowls are customizable, like I mentioned, wow, right? Okay. Yeah. So the base that you can have it, uh, can have the signature rice, you know, just not the yeah. one that we tried with the Oh, bowl, yes, uh. yes, yes, yes. Correct. Yes. Of course, there's a salad base. Salad and then base. the more special one, most special one, uh, is this Bihai Mak, which is the Pei Pei Noodle. Oh. Okay. And Kia Kong, uh, the sauce is the laksa sauce. You yeah. always also have the side piece, which yeah, are the yeah. sides that you have, uh, but it's all sides, right? With Asian influences. You know what I will customize too? What? Straight up, the mushroom and the mushroom and the mushroom. The mushroom and the mushroom, mushroom and, and the mushroom. Then you just order the main menu, the mushroom can really This one really surprised me. Because honestly, right, compared this dish uh, to your traditional laksa, right, you don't really see much of the laksa colour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no more. The laksa flavour is really just explode in your mouth. And you combo that with the bit high bak, the mushroom, the edamame, and the chicken. Wow, wow it's really mm. rainbow inside your mouth. I never thought that, right, this kind of mitai bak, the peri peri noodles, right, mm. thought that it will be a viable base for mm. both. Oh, yes. Oh, I like okay, so right now, to speed things up, we are each gonna have one bowl. I'm gonna have the one with the salad and the tempeh. I'm gonna have the one with the signature rice, the tenders, the tahu, and the Asian slaw. Say, 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 My one uh, is the extra shoe. Uh, mm. And then this one, uh, they give me got the three sides one. Uh. But the main one uh, is the boneless thigh, like, yeah, the yeah, two yeah. piece. Then you have the broccoli, you have the crisp, uh, the cheese crisp. crisp, and also the egg salad. Lah. Yeah, and the rice, right? Below rice. And below, of course, got the very, very, the rice, the many, many, the rice. Nice. I think in a bowl like this, right, it is where the signature rice really shines, right? Because it has the crunch of the fried onion, along with the coconut and chicken taste, right? Mm. And I think the combination with like the the tenders is a very good choice because mm. everything is bite sized. The Asian slaw is basically mm. what you expect from like a little bit of a pickled. Flavoring, right? Even though it's not really pickled, like it's just a sour vegetable to add on to the to the rice, right? Wow, damn nice. If you order the tempeh and the salad, right? Uh. You confirm full one. And it's like it's not just like one stick, two stick, that kind that you yeah. go to like Nasi Parang store and then they give you like one rectangle. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. But yo, yeah. this is like one entire slab, right? Uh. Times four. For mine, right, the extra sugar, right? I think it has a good balance between this and that. Uh. In the sense that it has the rice. And also, it has a very good portion of broccoli. And you pair it up with this Thai, right? And of course, with the hot flavour. Yeah. Wow, it's really more towards the exotic side. Mm, it's true. Then, if you feel a bit too too uh, overpowering, right? Now, you have the broccoli to refresh everything. Mm, yeah. yeah. Then, yeah. you have the egg salad, which is a bit mushy and soft. Mm. And if you want to just have a bit, you know, flavour, you have this crisps. Mm. Ah, crisps. Crip. Wow, it's really like it's very it's, it's actually quite quite different. Uh, uh, something different from what we've mm -hmm. like, been eating just no, now. It's true. It's true. Yeah. So now that we are done with our bowls, right? Yes. We have the classic Nando's burgers in front of us. Wow. Mm. So John's got a veggie one. Yeah. Bolin's got the classic, classic thigh, thigh, and I've got the double portion of breast in butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a veggie patty. Right? Yeah, it's a veggie yes. patty. So the lettuce and the tomato is really fresh and juicy and crunchy as you would expect mm. from like a good burger. Mm. Mm. And the sauce accompaniment with the fluffy buns. 
right? It always makes for a very good carving for a burger. But I think this one, the highlight really is the veggie patty. Even though there is no meat, it is jam-packed full of the spices. Mm. Uh. So the flavour, right, is damn strong. Eh. In fact, mm. right, I, would, I dare say, having tasted most of the chicken dishes, we had, this one has way more flavour purely stuffed into it than I would say on the skin of the wow. Not that it's not nice. It's just that this one has something special in it. I cut some for you later. So you know the hallmark of a good burger, right? It comes in two places, like, right? Number one is the patty hall. Mm. And then number two is the bun. Mm. Whatever in the middle is classic one, right? Your lettuce, your tomato and all. Look at my hand. Look at the juices of the chicken. You know what's the funny thing? Yours is a breast. Please. Most people exactly. will expect it to be dry, right? Dry, yeah. like fibrous and all that. Right? But all right. once I eat, right, my hands got a mess straight away. And that's like just by one bite. Right? Mine is literally about the same as the extra shook bowl that I had just mm. now. Yeah. It has the Thai. It's very, very juicy. And then you combo that with the buns. And then I love my burgers with tomato. Oh. Yeah. So with the... Hey, thank you so Good much. Good stuff, my share. Thank you so much. With the tomato, with the juicy Thai, and you know the, the cheese crisps. Yeah. It really just has many layers of flavors mm. instead of just a few, you see. Wow! Kao, right? It's just a patty of flavor. Nice, right? I want to hold on this one. Yeah. After we are done with our burgers, we are done with our bowls, now we move on to the wraps. Yes. So in front of me, right, I have the chicken tender pita. Yes, wow. and mine is a very very well nicknamed uh, Caesar salad wrap. Mm, wow, and mine also very well named uh, the tofu and mushroom wrap. Rakimas. Hey, mine is super good. Eh? This one is very flavorful, right? And I think they, they did use some of the flavorings from their chicken. If you see, right, mine is a Caesar salad wrap. Uh. So inside, uh, actually got croutons. Eh. Oi. Crouton is this Crouton is jam roti, make hot hot. Oh, okay, then I know what it is. Ah. <laughs> if I had to point out one thing, I would say, right, don't go for the hot. Go for something lighter. So that it doesn't like jump out too much mm. from the other mouth. Look at, look, at, look at mine. Like when you think of a pita bread that's this big, right, you wouldn't think that there would be so much chicken inside. And the best part of it, right, is that mm. it's not just chicken and bread. That you've got your sauces inside there. You've got your vegetables inside there, you've got your cheese crisps inside there. Yeah. This, this is like a whole package in one. It's like whatever you ate just now, right? They package it nicely in a pita bread and then mm. you just eat it like that. Mm. Right. As for me, right, you know, we had a lot of meat. I also eat a lot of soy, soy products. And I also love my mushrooms, right? So mm. this is a perfect combo. It's quite an, quite an interesting combo to have mushrooms and, and tofu in a wrap. And I think it's a very good after meat kind of a meal. Mm. Okay, now... Since we still got a bit of room in our stomachs, we're going to desserts and some drinks that Nando's has. So basically, right, ah. these are all Rubro iced tea ah. that comes from South Africa. All right. Wow. And if you want to get Rubro, right, only at Nando's. They've got yeah. their pearls. Yeah, they've got the boba. Yeah. And then they, boba. John's got the aloe vera. Aloe vera. So before we begin with the tantalizing desserts, uh, we cleanse our palate first. Uh, huh? Steady, steady. Uh, some, some Rubro, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yo, bro, drink some Rubro. <laughs> It has a bit of an exotic taste. It's like a combo of the normal bubble tea and the Chinese tea. You know, just now we talked about the bottomless drink. So if you don't add any topping, right, this tea, this Rubro branded rooibos mm. tea, uh, can be ordered as part of your bottomless drink mm. also. Now that our palate is cleansed, right, which one do you want to start with? Not nice one. Why you say not nice? I don't like. You why, why you don't like? I'm just not a fan. I will be objective. Mm. These two people may be biased because they like, right? I don't like, uh, objective. It's almost like the like part croissant, part chocolate Danish kind of energy. Yeah. Flaky, flaky, right? Which I can see a lot of people like. Actually, the, the filling uh, is a lot more of a custard than egg. Mm. Yes. And definitely, there's that lemon taste that yeah. comes with it. So it's not too bad. I can see a lot of people like this. The custard, right? When I when I eat it, right? It reminds me low-key a bit of bandong feel. Bandong? bandong? Yeah. Next one, caramelized okay. cheesecake. Caramel cheesecake or caramel caramelized? I like this kind of cheesecake. You know, very thick. Ah, very, very thick, thick and creamy in the center. I can't quite tell what is the coating on top. It definitely has a taste of caramel, mm -hmm. but it's definitely also not just like, mm. not like the creme brulee kind of like melted right, sugar. Yeah. Right? Not caramelized sugar. Almost like a sugar, almost like a caramel butter. Right. Yeah, I am personally not a fan of like very cow cheesecake like this oh. one. What I prefer right, is to have the cut of saltiness on top there. You know how some cheesecake they have that flaky salt or like something a bit nutty mm. la, to just cut through the whole cheesiness of it all. Mm. Now brownie. we move on to the salted caramel brownie. I think it'll test, test, press, mm. press a bit. Mm. Yeah. For me, I prefer my brownies to be super chocolatey, super dark, super thick. I think this one, it's on its way there. 
but not entirely cow, which is also yeah. a good thing because some people they don't like it to be too too thick. Yeah. All these are just very nice roundups. Yes. In what we have at the end of the day. Yes. Correct. Okay, guys. Now that we finish all our food, I have to ask you. Yes. Okay. What is your favorite thing uh, from today? My favorite thing got to be the chicken tenders pita. I like bread and I like like juicy. Yeah, yeah, food. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I like the messiness of it. It's, you want to say it's a first date kind of food. Huh? So you bring a girl, you eat that thing with her. Uh. You just make her look unglam. Uh. Then uh. That's, the, that's the worst you can happen already. Oh, okay, so okay, okay, okay. So for me, right, the, my favorite yeah, yeah, yeah. is the mushroom and the tofu. Uh, uh, right. uh, known fact, like, I love the mushrooms, but yeah. I feel that the chickens here, they are all very good. But I think that ending dish to wrap up the whole mains uh, yeah, with, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. with that veg, the, the mushroom and the tofu. Yeah. And also the mouth flavor, very, very soft, mm, right? Yeah. Wow, the, it's just the perfect combo, I feel. Both of y'all pick the flat bread option. Right? Yeah. Yes. And I am the rap lover, but my favorite is actually something else. What do you I like? really, really like the peri peri bowls because the fact that oh, it's customizable, right. okay. and it's all the different types of sides, right? It has right. something for me at for any day, you know? Mm. I think the very first I had Nando's was when I was in secondary school. Yeah, and until now, right, the price point remains similar. I think this place is like super valuable yeah. money. And, and no service the, charge, no yeah. GST. People still serve the food to you. Correct, correct. The most important thing is, right, you can see my size. Lah. When I eat something, right, usually it's eh, not enough. I yeah. order another one. Uh. Yeah. But through all the servings that we tried just now, yeah, yeah. one serving, I finish, I'll be like, wow, uh, a bit full. Eh. Yeah, 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 <laughs> so yeah, I yeah. think it's definitely very worth it. When you come out to a restaurant like this, with all this South African inspired decor and everything, right, it makes you feel very at home in that. I'm somebody who is super in love huh, with those, with this entire South African bohemian mm. style. Right? Even the plates and everything, I went to search the design. Yeah, right? yeah. And then you, know, you see all the paintings and everything. Yeah. Right? This is how I like to also decorate my own personal space. Oh. That's why I went to look, look for the designers. Uh, right. in terms of the, the bowls and plates mm. so I can add that to my own collection. Mm. So it's very, very, very nice that there's a, there's a restaurant right, that has this low-key added benefit for, for nerds like me. For all you viewers out there, Nando's is currently having a giveaway for you guys. Yes, and for this giveaway, it's super attractive. Huh? You get to come into Nando's, order whatever you want, whatever. all you can eat. So you want to eat the whole menu like us, you can, huh? and you can invite your friends. Wow. So all you have to do right, is to tell us in the comment section down below which dish you want to try out and be creative with your answers because mm. Nando's will be choosing the winner. Yes. That's right. Thank you for watching this episode of Eat Book Tries Everything. If you enjoyed this episode, you can watch more over there. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye! Bye! Yay! Go give away! Don't forget, go give away! Bye 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 bye